The Stealth Black Hawk Helicopter May 2, 2011 12.30 a.m. local time Two highly classified helicopters silently crossed into Pakistani airspace. Their mission, Operation Neptune Spear, the raid to eliminate Osama bin Laden. But what happened next would accidentally expose one of America's most closely guarded military secrets. These mysterious aircraft didn't just evade Pakistan's sophisticated radar network. They penetrated 150 miles deep into the country's airspace, hovering just 3,100 feet from Pakistan's prestigious military academy in Abbottabad. No radar operator saw them coming. No early warning systems detected their approach. The world might never have known about these aircraft if not for a dangerous combination of high walls and hot air. As one helicopter lost lift in the compound's swirling winds, its tail struck a 12-foot concrete wall. While SEAL Team 6 successfully destroyed most of the wreckage with C-4 charges, one critical piece survived, a tail section that revealed a decade of classified aviation technology. What aviation experts discovered was revolutionary. This wasn't just a modified Black Hawk, it was an entirely new breed of helicopter. The differences were striking. A unique five-blade tail rotor system, replacing the UH-60's standard four, radar-absorbing skin smoother than an F-117's, and meticulously covered component parts that virtually disappeared on radar. Even the exhaust systems were completely redesigned to mask both heat and radar signatures. Intelligence sources suggest these aircraft were likely developed at Sikorsky's Developmental Flight Center in Florida, then modified at the Lockheed Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California. Each helicopter is estimated to cost over $200 million, more than four times the price of a standard UH-60M Blackhawk. Today, the stealth helicopters were reportedly housed at Area 51, far from prying eyes, and operated by the elite 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, the legendary Night Stalkers. Intelligence sources suggest between 6 and 10 of these stealth helicopters exist, their true capabilities still classified beyond top secret. But one thing is clear. On that night in Abbottabad, we caught a glimpse of an aircraft that wasn't supposed to exist for another decade, the RQ-180 Great White Bat. The story broke in December 2013, when Aviation Week and Space Technology magazine published an explosive report revealing details of a classified stealth drone program. But for seven years, no one could prove its existence. That changed on October 19, 2020, when a photographer in California's Mojave Desert captured what appeared to be a white flying wing aircraft soaring at high altitude over Edwards Air Force Base. Its distinctive silhouette matched precisely what experts had speculated about for years. By 2022, the secret became harder to maintain. The Congressional Research Service finally broke the official silence, confirming a statement from Air Force Lieutenant General Robert Otto. We're working on the RQ-180 to give us better access to contested airspace, where our current platforms like the Global Hawk and U-2 are simply too vulnerable. Built under extreme secrecy at Northrop Grumman's facilities in Palmdale, California, the aircraft's reported capabilities are staggering. 24-hour endurance, a 1,200 nautical mile range without refueling, and advanced stealth features that make it virtually invisible to the most sophisticated air defense systems. The timing couldn't be more critical. In January 2023, spotters in the Philippines photographed what appeared to be an RQ-180 monitoring Chinese military activities in the South China Sea. Later that year, satellite imagery suggested these aircraft were operating from America's military bases in Asia, keeping watch as Russia and China conducted unprecedented joint exercises near Alaska. Think of it as the spiritual successor to the legendary U-2 and SR-71, but with a crucial difference. While those aircraft relied on speed or altitude for survival, the RQ-180 adds complete stealth to the equation. It can loiter for extended periods over areas where no other reconnaissance platform would dare to venture. Recent satellite imagery analysis suggests these aircraft are based at Area 51 in Nevada and operate from at least four overseas locations. Experts estimate that between 20 to 30 RQ-180s have been built since 2010, each costing approximately $300 million. As of 2024, the Air Force still refuses to officially acknowledge the program, but their actions speak volumes. Recent budget documents show billions allocated for unspecified ISR platforms, exactly the kind of cryptic language historically used to conceal America's most classified aircraft. The X-37B space plane. On December 28, 2023, a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket pierced the night sky above Kennedy Space Center. Its payload? America's most enigmatic spacecraft. 
the X-37B, embarking on its seventh mission, designated OTV-7. This mission promised to redefine the boundaries of space warfare in ways the world had never seen. At first glance, the X-37B appears modest, essentially a miniature space shuttle about the size of a small bus. It measures 30 feet in length with a 14-foot wingspan. But don't let its size deceive you. Beneath its unassuming exterior lies one of the Pentagon's most closely guarded secrets. For months, the space plane operated in silence. Then, in October 2024, the Space Force unveiled something groundbreaking. The X-37B would attempt aerobraking, a maneuver involving precise dips into Earth's atmosphere to adjust its orbit with minimal fuel usage. Space Force General Chance Saltzman called it an incredibly important milestone, transforming the vehicle into something even more formidable, a spacecraft capable of vanishing from its predicted orbit. Operating between 150 and 500 miles above Earth, the X-37B is powered by solar arrays and advanced lithium-ion batteries, enabling missions that last hundreds of days. Unlike anything before it, this unmanned space plane can stay aloft for years, change orbits at will, and return to Earth carrying classified payloads. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall confirmed that it conducts national security missions in space. While the Pentagon remains tight-lipped about its precise objectives, experts speculate it carries everything from advanced spy equipment to experimental satellites. Some missions have even tested how plant seeds respond to space radiation, a key step for future lunar and Martian colonization. But its military capabilities, particularly its ability to rapidly change orbits and evade detection, suggest a more strategic role in space warfare. Today, as Russia develops space-based weapons and China expands its orbital capabilities, the X-37B represents America's ace in the hole, a reusable spacecraft that can maneuver unpredictably, appear where adversaries least expect it, and return home, carrying secrets from the final frontier. The SR-91 Aurora, 1985. The Los Angeles Times uncovers something extraordinary in a Pentagon budget document, a mysterious entry labeled Aurora, with $80 million allocated for 1986, followed by a staggering $2.3 billion for 1987. What happened next would spark one of aviation's greatest mysteries, the legendary SR-91 Aurora. By 1987, the word Aurora had vanished from all Pentagon documents. Ben Rich, former head of Lockheed Skunk Works, claimed it was merely a funding line for the B-2 bomber competition. But a trail of evidence suggested something far more intriguing was taking flight in America's classified skies. August 1989, oil exploration engineer Chris Gibson, an experienced aircraft recognition expert, spots something extraordinary above the North Sea, a triangle-shaped aircraft accompanied by U.S. Air Force tankers. His detailed account matches nothing known to exist in any Air Force's inventory. Then came the skyquakes over Los Angeles in the 1990s. These mysterious sonic booms were different from anything heard before, creating what witnesses described as a rumbling sounds like a train. Aviation experts suggested these were signs of a new type of pulse detonation engine, capable of propelling an aircraft beyond Mach 5. In 2023, satellite imagery revealed massive expansions at Area 51, including new hangars and extended runways. These facilities, according to aviation analysts, matched the requirements for supporting a hypersonic aircraft program. The evidence was circumstantial, but compelling. If the Aurora exists, experts believe it represents a quantum leap in aerospace technology, capable of speeds exceeding Mach 5 using exotic propulsion systems and advanced stealth features. It would serve as America's eyes in the skies where even satellites fear to tread. Today, the SR-91 Aurora remains aviation's greatest mystery. While the Air Force maintains its silence, somewhere in the dark skies above us, strange contrails and unexplained sonic booms continue to fuel speculation about America's most classified aircraft, the TR-3B Black Manta. Of all the classified aircraft in America's arsenal, none is more mysterious or controversial than the TR-3B Black Manta. While some claim it's alien technology, others insist it represents the pinnacle of classified American engineering. The truth, as they say, is somewhere nearby. The story begins in the early 1980s. Hundreds of witnesses report V-shaped objects over the Hudson River in New York, shining with multicolored lights. While pilots claim these were merely ultralight aircraft in formation, what followed would be harder to explain. November 1989, Belgium. 
at least 30 different groups of witnesses, including police officers, document something extraordinary, a massive, flat, triangular object with red lights underneath. What stunned observers wasn't just its size, but its complete silence. Even when the object moved directly overhead, it made no sound. According to Aviation Week and Popular Mechanics, two variants existed. The TR-3A, 42 feet long, 14 feet tall, with a 60 to 65 foot wingspan. But the TR-3B was something else entirely. A behemoth with an almost impossible wingspan of 600 to 800 feet, four times larger than a B-52 Stratofortress. Its surface was revolutionary, a radio-absorbing polymer capable of changing both reflectivity and color. Combined with advanced avionics, this made the massive craft appear on radar no larger than a modern photography drone. But it's the propulsion system that defies conventional physics. At its heart, a magnetic field disruptor using mercury-based plasma under 250,000 atmospheres of pressure, cooled to 150 degrees Kelvin, and spun at 50,000 revolutions per minute. This system allegedly reduces the craft's mass by 90%, while conventional thrusters at each corner push it beyond Mach 9. Supporting evidence emerged through patents. Lockheed Martin's design for miniaturized cold fusion reactors, small enough to fit in an F-16. Then, NASA-sponsored engineer Salvatore Cesar Pais filed patents for plasma compression fusion devices and inertial mass reduction technology eerily similar to reported TR-3B capabilities. Today, while the U.S. Air Force officially denies the TR-3B's existence, they maintain a curious position. We don't have that, but if we did, we would use it. Perhaps this is the perfect cover. While deep within Area 51, revolutionary aircraft wait in classified hangars, pushing the boundaries of what we think is possible. Project Mayhem In December 2022, the U.S. Air Force made a bold move that would reshape the future of warfare. With a $334 million contract award, Project Mayhem was born, a classified program to create America's first hypersonic bomber, capable of flying at an astounding Mach 10, nearly 7,700 miles per hour. The dream of hypersonic flight isn't new. It dates back to the space race, when the X-15A2 broke records by reaching Mach 6.7 in 1967. The legendary SR-71 followed, pushing the boundaries of supersonic flight. But Project Mayhem aims to go far beyond, doubling the speed of anything that's come before. The key lies in its revolutionary dual-engine system. First, a conventional jet engine accelerates the aircraft to Mach 3. Then, something extraordinary happens. It switches to an air-breathing scramjet engine for hypersonic flight. This combination has never been successfully achieved before, making Project Mayhem one of the most ambitious aircraft programs in history. The challenges are unprecedented. At speeds above Mach 5, friction and air resistance heat the aircraft's surface to temperatures that would melt conventional materials. Engineers at Draper and Lidos aren't just designing an aircraft, they're developing entirely new materials that don't even exist yet. To overcome these challenges, Project Mayhem is taking a revolutionary approach. Using model-based engineering, every system is first built digitally, simulating the punishing conditions of hypersonic flight. As Frank Cerna from Draper explains, this is our cost-effective way to evaluate design concepts before building a prototype. What makes Project Mayhem truly revolutionary is its reusability. While Russia and China focus on single-use hypersonic missiles costing $100 million each, this bomber is designed to fly multiple missions. It can conduct reconnaissance, deliver strikes, and return home to fly again, something no hypersonic platform has ever achieved. Today, in classified facilities across America, engineers are working to turn this hypersonic dream into reality. When Project Mayhem finally takes to the skies, it won't just be breaking speed records, it will be redefining the very nature of air power.